PMO. <laughs> PMO is uh, is something that can really f you up. It f me up bad. I can remember when I was in year nine, and I was doing a performance at the front of the class in front of about twenty people. And this is one of the first moments where it hit me, where ah, this is not. This is this is f***ing me up. I was at the front of the class, and I and interestingly, I was the only person who had this experience because the nature of your experience, everyone's experience, it's private. You have your own experience. No one has access to your mind. Isn't that brilliant? No one will ever know all of your bullshit. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they have their they have their own bullshit to, wor uh, to worry about. Absolutely, yeah. So I was at the front of the class, and I was doing a uh, uh, I was doing a um, performance with two other guys. And I, st and I remember uh, that I, I didn't really know my lines too well. And I was like, ah, oh, let's just do it. And I remember we were sitting and I was facing these two other guys and, and, it, and they finished their thing and they went, you know, to gesture, okay, so now you speak. And when I went to go speak, nothing came out. And I had this death running through every fiber of my being, especially in my mind, like, ah, oh, this, why, what's happening here? Um, and I didn't quite know what was going on. And it led me to hate drama and I loved drama. And it, it led me to, to drop out of that drama unit. I didn't. I, I took. I took another thing uh, in in year ten and year eleven because of that anxiety. I even remember writing on a on a on a feedback note from the, for the drama teacher. Why would you? You know. Why would you stay on? Why would you leave? And I remember saying something like, "The pressure. The psychological pressure is too much." For me. It wasn't. It was the PMO which was affecting my mind. It was making me very fragile, very anxious. So this was one of the first moments where I realized, ah, PMO is detrimental to your mental well-being and health and uh, mental stability you you need you uh what we really want is to have a cool clear mind that doesn't mean you need to be blissed out all the time that's unrealistic um i think that's a misconception that people have but what you do what you can have access to is is a much clearer mind than you already do